Good day everyone. Welcome to another chemistry class. In this class we're gonna be talking about carbon and its compound. And I Ibrahim Olaguke will be taking you through this. Now we've heard about carbon. What is carbon? Carbon is a chemical element with the symbol capital letter C and has an atomic number of six. It's non-metallic and tetravalent. What do we mean by tetravalent? It means it has four valence electrons. Carbon has three naturally occurring isotopes. That's carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. Of which carbon 12 and 13 are stable, while carbon 14 is radioactive in nature. <coughs> carbon also plays a very important role in the life of human beings and it's about 0.02% of the Earth's crust. The presence of carbon in the atmosphere in the Earth is 0.03 and majorly in the form of carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about the allotropes, the forms we can get carbon. Allotropy is the property of some chemical elements to exist in two or more different forms. Now, carbon also exists in several forms, which includes the amorphous carbon, the graphite, and diamond. Now, let's look at the first occurrence, which is the amorphous carbon. Amorphous carbon is just a material containing carbon. We get this when you burn such kind of material and you have something like the soup or the lamp black. If you observe in those days that we use the lantern, that's our lamp we use that uses the kerosene. When you increase the frequency or the rate at which the lantern burn, you have a kind of black deposit on top of the lantern. That's what we call our lamp black or the soot. And that's the amorphous carbon. <coughs> Next we have the second one which is the graphite. The graphite is another allotrope, which is unlike diamond. It is the softest material known and primarily used as lubricant due to the soft nature. Now if we look at our pencil, that thing with that black thing we call lead is the graphite. And this is the structure. The graphite structure. This is how it exists. Then the next one is the diamond. Diamond is the third naturally occurring form of carbon and it is the hardest known substance. That's why it's only diamond that is used to cut diamond. We use diamond to even cut all other hard materials. So among these of diamond is cutting, drilling, grinding, jewelry, and semiconductor industry. This is also the structure of the diamond. Then we go to what we call isomers. Isomers are organic compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. When a particular organic compound has the same molecular formula but exists in different structural structures, for instance, you have the pentane, which is five carbon. And when we have this five carbon, it could exist in other structure different than this, and that would be an isomer. For instance, it could be exist as two metal butane. That's when you have the longest thing to be four carbon, and you have a an alkyl group as one well, that's two metal butane. If you count the number of carbon we have in pentane and butane are equal. For instance, pentane has five carbons, and butane also have five carbons. As you can see, pentane has <coughs> five carbons and butane, uh, two metal butane also have five carbons, so they are isomers. If you look at this also, have two two um, dimethyl propane. And you can see how the longest thing, if you think that's the longest thing, one, two, three, we have propane and we have two alkyl groups, that's two dimethyl propane. Equally here, they have the same number of carbon there, but they have different structures, so these are what we call isomers. 
in the next class we'll be talking more about this isomers then next we'll have the functional group this functional group in organic chemistry simply means um, just the family name for instance every family have a particular name and they have their own properties so here in organic chemistry functional groups are specific groups of atoms within molecules that are responsible for the characteristic chemical reaction of those molecules now elements or compounds from the same which has the same functional group will have the same properties i think we're going to be stopping here for today and i'll have a takeaway for you the takeaway for this class today is one states the group and period of carbon on the periodic table secondly list three allotopes of carbon stating two properties of each thanks for listening